This episode of MMA Nuts is brought to you by Mattress Firm, our premier mattress provider. They provide 120 night sleep trial, so if your mattress is not perfect, they will pick it up and find you a new one. Save 10% off your order with code MMA Nuts 10. Wild Alaskan Company, healthy, affordable, convenient fish sent right to your door. Save $25 off using the link below. Tire Buyer, buy tires online, get them shipped for free to an installer of your choice. Save 10% off, ship to store orders with code MMA 10. KT Tape, an elastic sports tape designed to relieve pain while supporting muscles, tendons, and ligaments. Save 10% off with code MMA Nuts 10. Defense Soap, everyday soap. Soaps for everybody. Use code MMA Nuts to save 15% off your order. Hey fans, this is MMA Nuts, episode 520. 520! My name's Ingo Weigold. Matt Grove, MMA Show. Bye, my fans, for my fans. Walk the line between serious and ridiculous. What's happening? My show. Man. My show. <laughs> yeah, tanks. We got the, oh. uh, you know, summertime trying to creep in yeah in trying to Midwest. figure out the weather right like mm-hmm. do i have my air conditioning on do i have it off it's fucking 85 percent humidity today but it's yeah. mid 70s and it feels hot yeah and go to the store dealing with all the fun people there mm-hmm. i fucking hate shopping i don't know about you hate it i just ugh. i love grocery delivery now that's my favorite thing if i have to go shopping for groceries i get angry I get very angry. Okay. This should all be delivered. The only thing I have to go for is the filling up the water, though. That's annoying. The five gallon jugs. So you can't. Well, I guess you could get that delivered, but like it's only a couple bucks to fill those up. So I, I just go. I just drink my fluorinated water and just hope for the best. <laughs> <laughs> You'll probably be fine. You know, my teeth are out. my teeth are cavity free. So there's that. So is your asshole, right? Isn't that cavity free? Uh, usually. Mm. Sometimes not, though. On Wednesdays, yes. Rest of the week, not so much. Mm-hmm. So, one fight to talk about? <laughs> yes. <laughs> or something like that. Dominic Reyes versus Yuri Prohaska. Uh, what, first off, let's talk about this fucking hairstyle. Like, this hairstyle. It shouldn't like, be allowed, I don't think, in MMA. Exactly, because. It gets in the way. What the fuck? And why wouldn't you use that as a handle? Like, if I see that, I'm fucking grabbing that. And... It's like a Muay Thai thing. Yeah, but nah, that shouldn't be legal. I feel like he had a, he should have had that chopped off. So we start there, and what the fuck happened in this fight? It was just brutal, right? The yeah, finish? brutal. The finish was like a, um elbow, like a reverse elbow, right to the freaking dome. It was yeah. pretty bad. I mean... It was it was pretty final, I would say. <laughs> I don't know. It could be early stoppage. Uh, yeah, I don't know, but let me pull up the picture of the fucking. Oh, you have a photo. Okay, perfect. The elbow because it looks like death, and I felt like it was death watching this. Like, oh, it's landing and right on the button. They both had weird hairstyles. Yeah, actually, and you know. Early stoppage, Ingo. There it is again. <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, it's, like early <laughs> it's stop, everywhere. Thumbs up. thumbs up. But I mean, the the internet is just brutal because I can I can do this all day. There's more. Why is Joe Rogan interviewing fucking unconscious <laughs> fighters again? I know you. I was gonna say I know you just got knocked out, but I, I, yeah, something like that. And then the last one, is, like apparently he's a fucking DJ now. Good God. Hands are brutal. Yeah. So I don't know what to make of this. Uh, is Yuri a fucking killer going to get the next title shot? And then what the hell do you do with Reyes? Because now he's on like a three fight losing streak. And is it just he took the. I, didn't he win that fight against John Jones? Wasn't that one of those um, ones we were looking right at? There was a split decision win probably for John where he had a couple of those where it was really close. And I you can that argue that right. the other guy could have won. But is John doing so much damage to people, like invisible damage? Maybe he's got a dim mock that I don't know about. And these fighters are not the same after fighting him? 
Could be. I mean, if you look at though, he fought Blackowitz, he brought Jones, and then uh, Pro. How do you say his name? Prokaska. Prokaska. Yeah, Prokaska. Uh, um, uh, and those guys are obviously uh, pretty tough. I mean, yeah, there's no <laughs> doubt about that. I'm not gonna say they're not. It's tough, like uh, but... it's not so easy, Matt. It's not like he's in there fighting cream puffs. It's. Uh, I mean, he's fought the who's who at this uh, light heavyweight uh, division here. So, I don't know. I mean, I'm looking at his record, right? He beat Weidman, Ozdemir, OSP, Cannoneer. I mean, he he has he has had a good run. I think <laughs> I don't know what to do with him. It's over now, though. Is he gonna get cut? Is he on three fight no. losing streak? Why not? You gotta cut these guys. It's three and out. Yeah. So sorry. I don't yeah. know. I don't know. And we'll see what happens with Yiri. Prohaska. He's from Czechoslovakia, yep. yeah? Yeah, I believe so. Would sound about right. Last time he he only lost uh, he lost the King Mo back in Ryzen. Wow, he's been fighting quite a while, this guy. I didn't realize yeah. he's been around that long. We're saying he's fights. a killer, so we'll see. Uh, apparently so, yeah. And then, did you see the buy rate for UFC 261? Mm-mm. You want to take a guess? This is with the three title fights on it. 650. Pretty fucking spot on. 700K is what they're propagating. Wow. That's not much. No, that's huge. 700K for uh, and a full stadium full of people. It's pretty good. I don't know who's the draw on that because it's obviously not Usman. It's probably Masvidal, Rose. It's not Usman. So somewhere between those. Not I'm bad. I'm impressed if it's over a million, Matt. Huh? I'm only impressed if it's over a million. Yeah, but I, I'd say anything over 500 is pretty good these days. I don't yeah. know how much because they're typically not putting together the best cards possible. That was one of the ones where I thought, wow, on paper, really fucking good. And then it delivered with like five first or second round finishes. And then you have that chaos with Weidman. And yeah, uh, you know, apparently he's having a lot of issues, you know, in his comeback. Did you see him post the pictures of his uh, pre and post surgery uh, i didn't see the pre oh, i saw the post the uh x-rays i saw that yeah let me Is it, share that i need like, to cover my eyes yep that's what i was yep that that one and then like that fuck huh, like how are those screws not gonna pop through his skin like tim sylvia at some point i don't know I think you can have those removed once the bone heals. Oh, well, they're just going to cut in and unscrew them. Yep. Like, that's brutal. And then he also said, like, when they were digging around in there, like, they uh, saw he had some issues with his knee. <laughs> yeah. Like, what the hell? Chris Weidman, what's going on with your kneecap there? Uh, uh-huh. Doesn't look good. I feel like he needs a full replacement. So, I don't know. What else is happening out there? Well, speaking of injury, did you see the Joanna Yenjechik injury she just uh, acquired recently? It's a little, similarly gruesome. So yeah, they're gonna uh, show her gash. So it's boom. Whoops! What just happened? There you go. Giant Ooh. gash. If you can see that right there. Yes, yeah. it's hot. It's. <laughs> I would uh, probably stick something in that. You would like your tongue. Tongue. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes uh, you gotta find these ways to get off and go. I'm just saying. Okay. If there's a hole, someone will uh, use it and abuse it. Moving right along. Diego Sanchez. Oh, here we go. Fucking guy released <laughs> from the UFC. What happened with him? I don't know. Something about his trainer being weird, trying to get medical records. Sounds like they were trying to set up some sort of lawsuit. And Dana was like, yeah, this guy's bad news. You got, uh, who, who was talking to him about, uh, somebody else said something about get him out of there. And Diego's basically done all he can for the promotion, but he's been kicked out of his fight. Um, I think this weekend, right? It's supposed to be. Yeah. Wasn't he uh, fo- supposed to fight Cerrone and it's not gonna they happen. put someone else in, which is unfortunate. I mean, but they gave him his money. A, a, a oh, yeah? show, they gave, apparently they paid him a show and win money. And we're like, see you later. That's probably the best. And not a lot of guys are going to get that treatment. You know, no. that's one of the original tough guys. So 
tough show, not yep. tough guy, you know? Yeah, the tough ultimate fighter show. Name. Yes, sir. Um, let's switch gears for a second. And we'll come back yeah. to MMA. So Triller, the mm-hmm. promotion for the Jake Paul versus Ben Askren event, yeah. is now has, has, if we, last week we said they're suing people for like hundreds of millions for illegally streaming. They've now allowed fa- whoever was illegally streaming a month of amnesty, meaning that you can go on this website um, that they opened up and you can pay your forty nine ninety nine dollars up to a month from now and not be prosecuted. The penalty, if you are prosecuted, is $150,000 for every person who potentially pirated the card. I have a question. <laughs> who, their right mind, would be stupid enough to get on that site and pay the forty nine ninety nine? dollars uh, I guess there's, there's probably, a, I would say, five people. There's <laughs> five people with some kind of special needs that are going to say, I should probably pay for this, but if anybody that has half a brain out there, if you're going to watch that on a stream, you would be smart enough to use some sort of a VPN. I don't know. Intend. Right. And then our sponsor shows up, oh, you buy this VPN, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> okay. But I'm just saying, like, oh, this is the most ludicrous thing I think I've heard of. I mean, it's just part, it's a cost of doing business. And again, if you're going to price your shit at $49.99 or something ridiculous, you have to expect there's going to be a certain level of piracy. Mm-hmm. I wonder how much, okay, let's take a guess. How, how, much money, how much money do you think they make from this ploy? I was going to say 10 bucks, but I don't know, five people, probably 200 they'll probably make less than the amount of money they spent on typing up all the fucking info, like whatever that person's work was or hourly rate was to fucking type up all this. It's going to be less than that. So they're actually coming out less ahead than they would have even by doing nothing. Okay. I agree. That makes sense. I, th- I think the copy costs more than the actual. <laughs> right. <laughs> That's the short way to see that. I'm going the long way. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just don't get it. So fuck them. They, they can keep their stupid things. Cause I think the next fight that's coming up is that stupid Mayweather, Logan Paul. Like, I don't know who, who in their right mind is going to watch that. Like what's. I don't know. If Connor um... like can't beat him uh, how is the paul gonna beat him when he's got know. what two two years of training at best against it's an Harry. exhibition bout though isn't it yeah so it's not really real they're just going to spar yeah i, quote, I just quote. i don't understand the the allure of that like why do you want to watch that i don't know it's crazy let's move right along you see Rachel Ostevich signed with the bare knuckle fighting championship. No, I didn't see that. Yeah. And they're targeting a summer fight against Paige Van Zant. So I'll have to, we'll have to have dueling pictures here. Let's start with Rachel Ostevich. So here's what her training looks like of late. Kind of like, all right, she's hanging on the beach. Whoa. And you know, Paige is getting a little racier of late. She does have her uh, page fan Zant page, but so she posted some pics lately. Like, hey, Yikes. hey now, yeah. what's going on there? A little cowboy action, cowgirl. Action yep. Thing. And apparently, but, she's been posting some. Uh, I like bear, it. Bear I, li- pics. I like the first one better. Yeah, it's all good. Mm-hmm. Okay, um, go ahead. Speaking of selling your ass for money, Conor McGregor sells majority of proper number 12 for $600 million. I mean, this guy has more money than God all of a sudden. (laughs) I I think he's got more money than Dana White now. Dana had 400, I think, from the sale, 400 million plus whatever salary bonuses, gambling, you know. The weird thing is, I think they're still using him to endorse everything. So he's still getting, he's going to still get paid to do that. Yeah. He's still got some kind of Mm -hmm. financial incentive, even though he sold his part, like maybe they hired him on a 1099 basis or something. So he could still endorse it. Cause I don't 
think they're successful without him being a part of that. I agree. You know, his fucking, like, I still see trucks driving around with fucking Conor McGregor and the stupid whiskey on it. I do too, all the time. And still have that bottle sitting and right there. I've seen, I've seen it in restaurants now and stuff. It's, it's wow. around. That's crazy. Because think about the time span. What were we talking, like, two years yeah. at best? About two years, yep. To go from nothing to potentially a top brand, a, a brand that made him $600 million. I don't even know what percent they owned of that mm -hmm. like that's crazy it's crazy money that's fuck you money is what that's called that's why i train on the beach kind of money you know yes <laughs> like every picture i don't have to train hard i just have to train hard enough Make right it look like i'm doing work but i'm not doing work mm -hmm. i always fear for that rematch or the trilogy when that happens so i saw the lfc was doing some fighting I don't, I'm gonna make sure this is muted, but there's some interesting maneuvers being thrown down here. This is the, hang on, the lingerie fighting championship. Apparently they're doing all sorts of crazy shit here. They're rolling around. I don't know what this scissor hold is, but I, I'm down with this. Mm -hmm. How is this legal? <laughs> I don't know That's I like what it. I'm saying. It's like, like, what is going on here? It's probably the same clip re re flowing over. And I over mean, again. I'll watch it again if we need to. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> this is for science. You know, you have okay. to check out all fighting organizations, real and or fake. Yeah. As long as there's somehow MMA related themes in said organizations. So mm -hmm. I feel like they're doing God's work over there. Whatever that happens are. to be. I agree with you. I concur um i like it sad news yep yo romero out of bellator debut against anthony rumble johnson apparently did not clear the pre-fight medical tests and the bellator said that they are going to keep rumble on the card and he's going to find an alternative opponent asap but yeah they named someone it was, it was, i forgot who it was Romero, they said it was some sort of an eye problem, an eye issue is why. Did he get jizz in his eye? Is that what <laughs> I don't know. Too much uh, steroid Jesus. action. He might come after me. No, for me, Jesus! Oh, He's coming for you. Boy! You gotta catch me first. <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I feel like he could. He's pretty fast, that fucking he probably, guy. He probably, he probably could catch me. But I don't know. Maybe. Yeah, that's unfortunate. I think that was happening it was either this weekend or next weekend. It was right around the corner. Yeah. So real, real weird to be failing your medicals and not real clear on them saying, oh, it was an eye issue. I think it was Hawani reporting that, but that's the fight I think everyone wanted to see. That's why I was interested in the fucking tournament. So I don't know why they don't postpone that unless that fucks up like all the other fights that they have. They probably have a schedule. Like here's how everything's going down. This guy's out, but this is the fucking fight you need to make. And then unless you're going to insert him later, but then it's not fair to everybody else. Cause you know, this is like DC when he comes into that strike force tournament, who knows? I don't know. It's unfortunate. I'm going to shed a tear, but maybe, maybe they have to make that sacrifice for something else to, happen or not happen mm -hmm. let's do a little tweet of the week okay i'm ready i don't know what i have i never know oh so here we go i gotta open this up this is a little convoluted but so spinning back fist tweeted this out he said this is mid card two for felder and bisbing so some guy tweets at the ufc get rid of paul felder and bisbing please so felder replies we would like to formally release you as a fan. Thank you for your participation. There will be an official email later tonight. <laughs> but then you go to Bisbing. If I can find him. What a twatty thing to say. I hope you lose your job also, fuck face. <laughs> <laughs> little contrast in styles there. Uh -huh. During the event, these guys are just popping off. <laughs> like, shouldn't they be working? I don't think you should be replying to twats on Twitter. Fucking, that's typical Bisping. <laughs> oh, man. I and like then uh, we'll close with this tweet of the week. 
This is the connoisseur of combat posting the basically the faces of death. So you have the Weidman reaction, the Rose reaction, and the other reaction, which is the Kamara reaction. So, yep. Weidman. Uh, oh, <laughs> why, why does Rogan look like he's blowing a load in every picture? I feel like he's getting bigger. Like Rogan is just. Yeah. It's wider. Well, it's, he's, he's on all the make, drugs. He's, he's like five foot four, <laughs> three hundred and fifty pounds of solid muscle dicks. I don't know. But I love I love that cam that, that shows their reaction. Yeah. And at yeah. least he's animated, right? And so all those guys are like that's what you want to see. You don't want them just like non-animated. They showed some of the Felder reaction and Bisbing reaction. From that elbow over the weekend and felder is just like this like whoa he's got nothing to say while biz being like blah blah, blah 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 and whoever the other guy is going blah 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 you got any other stuff news i do not news? i do have a knowledge for later but okay that's later <laughs> <laughs> let's let me look back through i think we covered every oh the last news type thing Jorge Masvidal says he's open to fighting Nick Diaz. I like that one. Little uh, avenge your little brother kind of shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, please. I'm I'm down with that. And who else was he? Oh, Nick was hanging around Mike Perry for some reason. Mike Perry was posting something. Huh. I think Mike Perry ditched his girlfriend or his girlfriend ditched him. I don't know what's going on with that guy. So are they playing touch butt in the park? I think they are. But he, he, they were being all buddy buddy with each other. Okay. So let's do some ass and nuts. I'm ready. So best KO. This is back from UFC 261, or part of it. Was it Usman, Yuri, or Rose? Who do you think had the best KO out of those three? Uh, I don't know. I, I would say I would say Usman. Yeah, I, I think that was like highlight reel type sweat flying the whole thing. I mean, the other ones were good too, but I, I just think that one was shocking to me. Yeah, I mean, Yuri's is dynamic and unexpected, but Usman is more impressive because Masvidal has not been KO'd like flatline like that. Right, and and in the the sweat pop. I'm like, come on, man! Like that, that I think that wins for us. Solid. Okay. Yep. And then Rodrigo Machado will close it out. It's time. Pound sign, natural. Pound sign, Matt Rape Train. Pound sign, Ingo Sugar Daddy. Would you rather be known for your intelligence or your good looks? Good looks, of course. Yeah. I mean, well, well, <laughs> fuck intelligence. <laughs> it's better to be dumb and beautiful than what? That's right. Smart and ugly? Fuck that. Yeah. Would you rather eat pizza or ice cream as the only food for eternity? I think we pizza. talked about this before. Yeah. Pizza because you can have more toppings. Yeah, you can really vary that up. You put anything on pizza, pretty much. A pesto sauce. You could do. You could put ice cream sauce. on the pizza if you want. I mean. Yeah, you, so you could get crazy. Yeah. Put your cack on the pizza, whatever. <laughs> Force someone to eat that. No, you can't do that. Yes, you can. No, you can't. Yes, you can't. Would you rather mentally or physically never age? Uh, I don't understand the question. When you say mentally age, what do you mean? Mentally age? How do you age mentally? I would say physically probably. But I, do I get to pick the age? I would like to be 27. Yeah. I could agree with that. I'd be about 25-ish. Maybe even 21. I'm trying to think like physically... When was I in the best shape? It would be low to mid twenties, but okay. <laughs> my body fucking hurts right now, <laughs> and I'm not even that fucking old. I was just telling you pre-show, doing so much yard work, and my body is fucking paying for it. I, I had to take an Epsom salt bath at 11:30 the other night because I could not fucking get to sleep. <laughs> That's how sore my shit was. Wow! Like Jesus Christ, and medicine wasn't helping either. The medicine the, didn't help. No, the, you need more medicine. You need the wrong kind of medicine. 
that. No, that was just making me panic. I was like, oh my god, I feel <laughs> like, like I'm dying. <laughs> like I can't breathe. Okay. Like, I had to fucking I had like a mild panic attack. <laughs> really? Like I've never had that before. Yeah. Okay. Because you felt but... so bad. Yeah, I felt like I couldn't breathe too. Like okay. I felt bad and then I couldn't breathe and it was just a bad combination funny. all the way around. Yeah. Yes. So yes, physically never age. Would you rather have the details of your financial life or your love life be made public? <laughs> well, Matt, they're both a giant <laughs> fucking mess. So I don't, either one, it doesn't matter to Whatever. me. Whatever, I don't care. Roll <laughs> dice, you know, fucking. Whatever makes you happy. Yeah. Love life's probably more interesting than my financial. Uh, yeah, probably. Wishes. And then he says, I heard you guys complaining about the women being too young on our on your last episode. Yes. So I bring you guys Fuck Mary Kill Celebrity Edition number 136. This is MILF Celebrities number one. Oh yeah. So, right. Now we're talking. What's all happening? Right. Hang on. <laughs> you already know what's happening. I, I know up. all this stuff. Okay. I'm pulling my pants down. <laughs> uh, great. <laughs> Jessica Alba. Oh, she, apparently she's invisible. Uh, where is she? I, okay. I went with a subdued picture of her. I thought she looked more adult here. Uh, I nice. can get down with this kind of. I, I don't know the waist hygiene, so just don't do it for me. But she's pretty hot. I'll yeah. See. Kate Beckinsale. Mm. Hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And Shakira. Whoa. Um. Boy, <laughs> this is, <laughs> did you practice that? Nope. Uh, oh, man. This is a tough one. I, I'd say Mary number one. Okay. Kill number two and bang number three. Okay. This is oh. tough. I can respect that choice. I, think I I'm could gonna... marry number two also. I mean, it, yeah, I think that's where I'm going. I think I'm going to marry Kate. Bang Jessica. I think I feel like I got to kill Shakira because I, I don't want her fucking popping off in the bedroom <laughs> with me <laughs> and shaking that like too crazy. Like, whoa, lady, you're going to give me a heart attack. Slow. You're on 13. I need you on about three. Yeah. Take it down. Down. Take it down a notch. Yeah. What do you have for knowledge? Uh, okay. I, I can't play the audio, but it's better with the audio. But I'm just going to go ahead and uh, just, just, um, there is no reason to be this smooth in 2021 as the title of this. If you can okay. imagine Michael Jackson, any are you okay? Boom, 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 are you okay? Boom. Are you okay, Annie? <laughs> you can, look at Jesus. this guy. It looks like he's on fucking roller skates. No? <laughs> look at this guy. If you can imagine any are you Just okay? in the middle of the intersection. Okay. I got to get out okay, and do some work Andy? right now. Hey, are you okay? Look, look at this shit. Jesus Christ, man. <laughs> that's pretty That's pretty dope, I got to say. So it's some wow. And with his little rat tail that was whipping around there. Yeah, that's fucking class, man. Pretty I don't want to move like that. I don't want to put the work in, but it's a lot of work. Yeah, I move like that in the bedroom, man. That's right. Smooth, like a criminal. That's right. Non rapey. All right. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so yes. apparently, here's my knowledge. Jessica I has a OnlyFans or fans only, whatever the fuck that is. And she's got a menu of pricing listed for what you can order up. And uh, we'll we order some stuff. I don't know if you want it from her. <clears throat> so foot picks, 25 bucks. And some of these prices don't make sense. So you know, 3,500 for a topless video. Yeah. Well, look at topless pick is a grand fully nude pick 6,000, but some of the videos, so I can get a bare booty video for 200 bucks but a bare booty pick for a hundred. I feel like the values in that booty vid or bare booty. I'm getting very confused. There's a lot of things happening here. Man. There's selfie picks, fully nude selfie pick, five grand. And then you get customs. A bare booty pick is 200. So she's like duplicating stuff. Uh -huh. Bare booty pick is a hundred up here. Bare booty <clears throat> pick is 200 down here. I'm going to choose the bare booty pick for a hundred. Birthday gift. We need we need a Gwyneth Paltrow to have one of these. Seriously, <laughs> five minute Skype chat, five hundred bucks. You probably I, got I a couple zeros for her. Holy nude pick, seven grand. Didn't I'm ninety nine point nine percent sure there's leaked pictures of her out there. I'm for just Jess, saying, Jessica. I. Yeah, I feel like she needs to be paying people to look at those because 
that's a hard pass. I'm just saying, but I applaud all these ladies going after that stuff. Mm-hmm. You do? Yeah, why not? I feel like they all should. If you've got a halfway decent body, go for it. I just have no interest in that one. But I would just share because I didn't know you could menu your shit out on the internet like that or on the only fans. Menu your shit? Yeah. Where you're like just telling people for six grand, you get to see my fucking asshole. I mean, I I'm think cheap. I'll sell it for 20 bucks. <laughs> 20 bucks, my asshole. You got to ask at least 50. I mean, know your value. Am man. I selling myself short? Yes. I just want to put pictures of my asshole out there. <laughs> so <laughs> it's nothing figure, stopping Cheaper, better. Yes. It's true. Uh, I don't know what my point was with that knowledge, but people are putting some shit out there and good for them. Yeah. That's all I got. We'll shut down. All right. That has been this week's edition of MMA Nuts. My name is Ingo Weigold. Matt Griffith, thanks for playing.